so today I did a video that we have done together before but the last assumptions video that we had up got flagged so I had to take it down but I just decided to include some assumptions in today's video of me straightening my hair plus I needed to cut my hair really bad and I prefer to cut my hair or trim my hair when it's straight. So that's just what I like to do for my hair. So I just decided to show you guys towards the end of the video how I trim my hair because a few of you guys were asking me last time I trimmed my hair, but it was too late because I already trimmed it. So I showed you guys in today's video. So hopefully it helps you guys out some. And thank you to everyone who sent me some assumptions on my Insta story. I greatly appreciate you for participating. And I love you guys, so thank you for participating. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble too much. Um, hopefully you guys like Kendra and I's new setup. Forgot to even mention that, um, cause I've already been sitting here for about an hour filming. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys like this new setup. Uh, Kendra and I worked very hard on it. It took us about a week to actually figure out what kind of lighting we wanted. And we had already ordered our lights, so we had to pretty much work with what we ordered. And I must say, it looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys like it. And I just feel like it looks very profesh. So yeah, it's a lot of lights in this room right now. I'm very hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this intro before I sweat my hair out. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, so I'm starting out with blow dried hair, as you can see, because every time I blow dry my hair on camera, I get extra hot because I'm filming with a lot of lights. So yeah, that was not happening today. As you can see from the intro of the video, Kendra and I have a brand new setup. It's extra hot in here and then I can't turn on the air conditioner because you guys will hear it. So the sound will be kind of off. So it would have been too hot in here. So that's why I just went ahead and blow dried my hair off camera. But you guys have seen me blow dry my hair on camera for years now. So I'm pretty sure you get the idea by now. I'm just trying to like do like a quick recap since I didn't show you guys from start to finish. So I shampooed and conditioned. So I shampooed and conditioned with the Red Can Extreme line. You guys know I'm obsessed with the anti-snap leave-in from this line. I love the shampoo and conditioner. So I shampooed and conditioned with these two. And then I deep conditioned with the Red Can Extreme Mega Mask. We've mentioned this before. I think we mentioned this in our hair Q&A. One of my all-time favorite deep conditioners. So I decided to use this one today. I left it in for about an hour uh, while we were doing a conference call. So yeah, that's a good amount of time to leave it in. I didn't have any more of my Red Can Anti-Snap. I'm obsessed with that stuff. It's like my tried and true leave-in conditioner before I go in and blow dry. So after I rinse out my deep conditioner, I put this in. This is from Kerastase. This is the Kerastase Resurfacing Strengthening Milk. So this is specifically for blow drying. So it just says blow dry care for damaged hair. My hair is not damaged, but preventative measures. So I did about a maybe like dime sized amount in each four sections of my head before I went in and detangled my hair and put it in those twists that I do. So yeah, and then right before I blow dry, this is the last thing that I put in my hair. You guys know this is another OG product. This is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. I've been using this for years. It just makes my hair dry way faster on top of how fast the Dyson works. So I will just never stop using this whenever I straighten my hair. It works so fast, so that's why I'm obsessed with this. So now I'm just gonna spray some heat protectant in my hair, even though that Kenra blow dry spray is technically heat protectant, but I like to do an extra layer of protection. So I like to take my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, another OG product, and I just like to spray it all over. I'm gonna get into the assumptions in a minute, y'all. I'm just trying to do some housekeeping first and let y'all know what products I'm using and I will have all these products in the description box for y'all. By the way, I hope you guys like this setup because it took Kendra and I quite some time to figure it out. Lighting is so complicated. First assumption, you like to be prepared and not wait until the last minute to do a project or something. I wish that was true. I actually do like to be prepared, but I'm also a procrastinator. So I usually am prepared, but I prepare at the last minute. So this assumption is kind of true, but it's kind of not. <laughs> I didn't even turn my flat iron on. By the way, the flat iron that I'm using is the Sadu flat iron. I will use my Dyson flat iron, but I wish they had these white plates. These plates are just unmatched, especially if you have really long hair. The purple one, I love that flat iron. It actually makes my hair even softer. But like I said, I wish the plates were wider, like my, you know, good old tried and true Sadu. So that's what I'm using today. It's hard for you to trust people. That is absolutely true. I don't trust most people just because I'm like, usually very skeptical of people and their intentions. And, and I also just go off what that person has shown me in the past. Like, 
you just can't ignore people's actions. You just have to remember stuff. So yeah, that's partially why I don't trust people. Just because I feel like for me personally, trust should be earned, not given. And that's definitely my motto. That's how I move through life. I've never trusted anybody in my initial meeting of them. Anybody. Like they've had to prove their trust to me. Simple as that. So I usually don't do more than two passes. More than two is just overkill and unnecessary to me, so. And I like to do the Chase Method with the bristle brush versus a comb. Just because I feel like the bristles catch more hair than the comb. If you've seen me straighten my hair before, then you know this. You are chill and responsible and you're reliable. Well, thank you so much that you assumed that about me. And I like to think that I'm pretty responsible. Even though there have been a few times where I've forgotten to like turn on a notification for a bill or something. So I'm not perfect, but I try to remember to pay all my bills on time. I have really good credit, thank God. I guess you can say I'm pretty responsible. And I do feel like I'm reliable. I feel like I have had family members depend on me for certain things and trust me. So I think I'm reliable. I would say that my loved ones would say that I'm reliable. You're a real boss chick and you don't let these trolls get to you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for assuming that about me, but I'm still trying to figure out the whole boss thing, even though I've technically been my own boss for the past, however long I've been on YouTube. <laughs> um, but as far as like starting an actual business, that's when I feel like I will really see my boss chick chops. And Kendra and I have been trying to learn so much about business before we start our own, just because I feel like that's where a lot of people fail in their businesses by starting them like too prematurely. And we don't wanna, we definitely don't wanna do that. And no, I do not let the trolls get to me. When I first got on YouTube, I did, just because I was so young and naive and I cared about what people thought about me. Kendra and I have been on YouTube since we were like 18 or 19. And I'll be 30 this year. I'm 29 years old, so that's a long time. I feel like the older you get, the less you care what people think. Even though I stopped caring what people thought of me when I was in my like mid 20s, to be honest. I was just very like, I don't care. <laughs> I was like that in high school too. Like people would like be like, oh, we should be doing this, we should be doing that. And I used to be the one like, for what? So I've always had that mentality, but I feel like being on the internet, it was just a whole nother arena of trolls. I do feel like going to public school <laughs> made me have tough skin. So I definitely would like to send my children to public school. I feel like it builds character. Uh, I hope you guys can hear my neighbor's dog barking outside. Shut up. You're not open to making actual new friends. I'm definitely open to it, but I'm always skeptical of meeting new people because I don't know their intentions. But I'm definitely open to making new friends. I like to... Shut up! <laughs> this dog, this dog. Y'all probably can't even hear him, but I can. He's barking because there is someone in my driveway, I think. No, they're gone. I don't know why he's still barking. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely open to making new friends. I just don't know when that'll be because the circle that I have now, all of the people that are in my circle now, I've known for years, like a long, long, long time. Because going back to the other question, I don't trust very easily. And I like to think that I'm a really good friend and me and Kendra like to entertain, have girl nights. And when I'm friends with somebody, I like to have deep conversations. So in order for me to be friends with you, I have to really trust you. So in order for me to have a deep conversation with you, I have to be comfortable with you. That's also why my circle is super tight. So, but like I said, I'm still open to new friends. You are a ride or die for your peeps, period, but you don't take ish from anyone. Love you. Love you too. Um, yes, I'm definitely very loyal. And if someone is, if I consider someone my friend or if it's like my family members, I'm quick to like defend them. I'm very protective as well. But I also try not to let people take advantage of me. So that's also true too. So that is a correct assumption. Cause I feel like when people know that you're super loyal and that you are gonna be there for them, they kind of take advantage of that. So you just have to be careful with your loyalty. You are the turn up twin. That is absolutely correct. I've been that way since we were in school. I've always been a lot more rowdy than Kendra. Kendra is a lot more reserved than me. Uh, she has to be super comfortable to like, like dance around you and like open up more. Well, not open up, but like 
have fun around you. Like I've twerked in the middle of the street in New Orleans before. But again, even for me, I don't do that all the time. Like if I'm around new people, I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, but in the moment, like sometimes I'm like more in the moment and Kendra thinks about things a lot before she does them. So yeah, I'm definitely the turn up twin. You've always been a bit of a tomboy slash daredevil. I wouldn't say that I'm a daredevil. Like, I don't know what you mean when it comes to what, but I don't think I'm a daredevil. I think I'm pretty cautious when it comes to certain things, but I am a tomboy and I have been a tomboy since I was a child. We used to play outside a lot. Something kids these days don't do. We stayed outside. Like we would come in when the street lights came on. Well, sometimes we'd get in trouble because we would notice the street lights were on. And then I would hear my mom like calling us from down the street. She would be like, Kelsey and Kendra, get in this house. <laughs> Cause I would just lose track of time. We'd be riding our bikes and we used to uh, have skates. Like I used to like climbing trees. So yeah, I feel like that's kind of trickled over into me being an adult. Like I like wearing guys clothes sometimes, but I feel like if like my hair and my makeup is done and I have guys clothes on, I'm still kind of girly. So I am kind of a tomboy. If you're never insecure about your body or hair, that's definitely a lot. I'm definitely, Sometimes I care about my hair just because I feel like people put so much pressure on me and Kendra to have perfect hair because that's what a lot of people know us for. So if my hair looks thinner at one point or if my hair just looks different, somebody will be like, what are you doing different to your hair? I just feel like people pay so close attention to my hair, what I'm doing to it, that, it, that gets kind of annoying. Uh, so that is kind of a lot of pressure. As far as my body, I'm insecure about my body all the time. And I've never been overweight or anything. Everybody, I feel like, has body issues. Even if you think somebody else's body is perfect, they have insecurities about their body. I definitely try to do everything I can to be healthy and to like my body as much as I can. So, I do like my body now, but I do think I can improve on some areas. But luckily, I am in a position to shape the body that I want naturally. So, I've never felt pressured to get anything done to my body. I can only say that because I'm pretty happy with my body, so. But I do have insecurities, like everybody else. You cook daily. Uh, not every day, but probably every other day or every two days maybe. Just because I like my food to be fresh. I don't like eating fast food every day. That's not what I like. Like I have to be craving fast food to want it and that's not on a daily basis. Like I probably have fast food maybe like twice a month. So I do like cooking at home. That is one thing that this pandemic has, you know, shown me is that I actually do like to cook and like come up with new recipes and stuff like that. And it's shown me how much I can cook. Cause me and Kendra's food be good, I ain't gonna lie. Kendra's salmon is untouched. Like I've gone to restaurants and nobody's salmon has tasted as good as Kendra's. You get bored easily slash lose interest. Do you mean in like a relationship or in life in general? Well, I'll just answer for both. So I do get bored in, not in a relationship, but like if I'm talking to somebody. But if I love somebody, I usually don't get bored. And that's just only been one person. But I do get bored when I'm talking to somebody. Like it's kind of hard to keep my attention. So yeah. Now, as far as like other things like work related or whatever, I'm not gonna lie, I do get bored when it comes to certain things. I think that's probably why I had so many jobs uh, before I started YouTube. I just, I like a change. I, like I hate doing the same thing for too long. So yeah, I do get bored pretty easily. You plan on running for president? Probably not, but I'm very flattered that you think I would be able to do something like that, but I feel like that's way too much pressure. It's way too much pressure. But maybe one of my children will one day. I don't know. You don't hang with other YouTubers. Not really. Uh, we used to more in the past when we went to like events. We don't really go to events. So that's partially why we don't hang out with that many YouTubers. I uh, know I talked to a lot of YouTubers like on like Instagram and stuff like we DM each other sometimes and if they have like questions about like camera or lighting or we just talk about random stuff like memes we laugh at a lot of the same things so I talk to more YouTubers online versus having like actual in-person relationships with uh, a lot of them okay so this person 
assume that I'm meaner than Kendra? Uh, I mean, it depends on the situation. I mean, that just depends. That's all situational. Um, so yeah, it's just situational. It just depends on the situation. Kendra has her moments when she's mean and I have my moments when I'm mean. You have a short temper. Again, another situational thing. Sometimes I do, depending on the situation, but I do feel like I'm getting a little bit better. I assume that you two are tired of filming YouTube videos. Do y'all plan on stopping soon? Uh, I definitely do get tired of YouTube in general, not just filming YouTube. I feel like that's with any job. Like if you've been on your job for a very long time, you're gonna get tired of it eventually because it becomes very redundant. You kinda wanna change. Uh, Kendra and I, like I said, we've been on YouTube since we were like 18, 19 years old and I'm 29 now. So that's a very long time to be doing the exact same thing. So there are other things that we want to pursue and I just feel like in order for us to do those things, we can't always be on YouTube and I'm not trying to be a full-time YouTuber for the rest of my life. Uh, but to answer your question, we're not leaving YouTube um, anytime soon, um, but eventually and the future of the videos won't be as frequent. And I think we've been on YouTube for so long that whenever we like like take a hiatus and we're gone for like a week or something, people are like, are you leaving YouTube? I'm like, girl, it's been a week. People just assume like when you're gone away from one thing that you're not doing anything, but when you have like multiple goals and business ideas, you can't always be in that place that everybody wants you to be in. So I don't want to be limited to like, a YouTube box like there's like so many other things that I want to do and for me personally in order for me to do those things I feel like I have to focus on one thing at a time because I feel like when you have too many things going on or when someone has like too many business ideas you can't really perfect one thing so I feel like in order to like make each thing a thing of quality I have to separate all of them so if it ever feels like Kendra and I are like checked out or like we don't want to do YouTube, that's not the case. We just sometimes need a break because we've been doing this for so long. And I feel like people forget that or I don't know. <laughs> I just told you we've been on here for a long time. But I'm excited. Where's my cone? Oh, I dropped it. But yeah, I'm excited for the things that we want to accomplish. I'm not going to say what they are because I hate talking about things too prematurely. But I just know that I'm meant to do more than just YouTube. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to limit myself. I feel like God has blessed me with other talents and I feel like I should pursue those talents and desires. So whatever you have in your heart that you want to do, don't let other people like deter you from those things and try to keep you in a certain box. I know that's not what you're doing, but that led me to this. I know I'm going on a tangent, but I'm just saying, if you have desires in your heart, as far as like business or things you want to accomplish or dreams you have, then do it. I just woke up one day and I was just like, I don't want to have any regrets. And I feel like we had been doing YouTube for so long that we were just comfortable. And I'm at a point where I'm tired of being comfortable. Like I want to do something that scares me a little bit. So yeah, that's where I'm at with it. I assume that you want to own a high-end beautiful salon one day. Definitely not. I feel like we've done that, that assumption before because I feel like if Kendra and I had a salon, we were, feel like we need to be there like every day every other day because we're kind of control freaks honestly <laughs> me personally i'm just such a perfectionist that i would have to like be very hands-on so i don't feel like i have to be there too much and it it would just take up way too much time considering we want to do like a ton of other things so no we will not be opening a salon we did have a dream of opening a salon when we first graduated cosmetology school you wouldn't date a white guy uh so i probably would date a white guy he would just have to be very aware of what has gone on in the world and what is going on in the world you know what i mean he can't turn a blind eye to my people i've talked to a white guy before but never nothing serious i would definitely date a white guy so you're actually incorrect about that assumption but my preference are black men just me personally you want to be married definitely not right now not right now but yeah i definitely want to be married one day just not anytime soon but i do wish society would stop putting so much pressure on women to get married and have kids and it's just like live your life and stop trying to live through other people i'm not talking to you by the way who made the assumption i'm just speaking generally if you don't want to do something you're not going to no matter what other people may think or say that's absolutely correct sometimes i feel like my i don't give a is on another level because sometimes I 
wish I cared more sometimes in certain cases. Like when everybody's like, oh, you should be doing this or you should do that or why aren't you doing this just because everybody else is doing something. I don't care. I'm going to do me all day, period. I feel like Kendra and I have always been like that. And sometimes I didn't understand why I was like that. And now I realize it's just because I just don't care what other people think. That's one amazing thing about getting older. You like don't care even more with each year. Stop caring about what people think because they're not living your life, okay? Dated a celebrity. No, I have never dated a celebrity before, nor do I want to. But if that's what God has in the card for me, then I would open it, but I would probably be a little more cautious because I feel like celebrity men have even bigger egos than normal men, so yeah, we'll see. I assume you have a ratchet side to you. Absolutely. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Some people may know it as the Gump. A lot of it is kind of ratchet and I embrace that side of me. You know, I like that I'm multifaceted and I feel like it's a time and place for everything, but I definitely have a ratchet side. People think you're stuck up, but you're really a cool person. Oh, thank you. I think. <laughs> That's pretty much been my whole life. Most people have thought how is this verbiage? I'm really picky about English. <laughs> Most people have thought I've been stuck up in the past, uh, but once they got to know, know me, they were like, you were like real cool and chill and laid back. Like I maybe look stuck up, but that's why you shouldn't judge people based off a look or just because they're not smiling all the time. So, uh, but thank you for thinking that I'm a cool person. So yes, you're absolutely correct about that assumption. You're so pretty, by the way. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I will never not enjoy taking compliments. It never gets old. You're a very laid back person that minds her business. Yes, I am. I just said I was late. Most people like say that I'm really laid back. But yes, I do mind my business. I love minding my business. There's nothing like minding your business. I'm telling y'all, you should try it. It's so freeing to mind your business. It really is. I think you read people well and have your guard way up with dating or in general. Yes, that is a very correct assumption. Sometimes I feel like I read people and their energy too much to the point where like, I can just sense it and it's, it gets exhausting to be completely honest. Like just feeling everything and feeling so much energy. And I think that's why I'm such an introvert because when I'm like out and about and I'm around people, I just feel everything so much that it's just exhausting. And as far as dating, I definitely have my guard up because like I said, I don't trust people in general, but especially if I'm dating somebody or in a relationship, like that trust has to be built over time. You got it all together and got it all figured out in life, they're saying. Uh, I have it together most of the time. <laughs> I'm a pretty put together person, I would say, but I'm far from perfect and I definitely do not have life figured out. But in general, like er in like everyday movement, I'm pretty put together, but I don't have, I mean, who, does anybody have life figured out? I, I don't think so. You would prefer for your group of friends to have chill vibes, no party animals allowed. I love to have fun. I love to see my friends have fun. I ain't nothing like a good party around people you love and I love that. But I, I do prefer to be at home. I am a homebody. But like I said, it's a time and place for everything. I do have times where I do like to like turn up and enjoy myself. But most of the time I do like to be at home and be chill. So that assumption is half true. Uh, I wouldn't say no party animals allowed because who am I to tell a grown person not to be a party animal? You do you boo. You're the dominant twin. It's just an assumption slash observation. I am more dominant to people watching. But Kendra is actually dominant in her own right. She is very, very smart and she makes you think, I was gonna say in a certain way, but she low-key makes you think in general. <laughs> uh, she's just very perceptive and insightful. So, but in general, I am more dominant because I'll like, like say something first or yeah, that's just me. You hold certain things back so Kendra won't judge you. We hold nothing back. 
we are very open with each other and we don't judge each other so we have a very healthy relationship this is a no judgment zone over here well as far as each other because i'm not gonna lie we do be judging other people <laughs> I'm just be honest. Okay, so next assumption that you are so nice. I've been watching on YouTube for years. Love you and all your content. Oh, thank you. I would think that most people think I'm nice. I've been told that <laughs> I'm very nice. Thank you for assuming that. And thank you for watching your videos and love your content. Thank you. You're an introvert. Girl, yes. I go from one extreme to the next. Either I want to be at home on my couch binge watching my favorite show. Well, one of many favorite shows because I have a lot. Or I want to be on a plane going somewhere. I love to travel, so. You have a very dope soul. Oh, thank you. That's not an assumption. I think that's a compliment. So thank you so much. You get separation anxiety from leaving each other. Do you mean Kendra? Girl, no. Absolutely not. We leave each other all the time. We obviously spend a lot of time together because we work together. But we definitely do not have separation anxiety. I don't have separation anxiety from anybody, to be honest, because I like to be by myself a lot. I just love my own company. I really do. So we just like each other. And people assume that because we spend a lot of time together, they just assume that we're emotionally attached. We just, because we like each other as people. So we're just very blessed to not only have a friendship, but, you know, like each other as business partners. You want a dog. Yes, I do. I cannot wait to have a four-legged little baby running around here. Like, I'm trying to be a dog mom before I'm an actual mom. So, I think 2021 may be the year that I go ahead and get my fur child. I think eventually, probably after that, probably going to get another dog. Because I always hear that it's better to get, you know, them a dog friend. Because they do better in pairs. Hence why Kendra and I have done so well in life, I'm just saying. But no, for real, um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get one this year, but for sure one dog first. It's very hard to hurt your feelings. Mm, if I know you personally, then no. My feelings do kind of get hurt easily if I know, like if you're close to me, like if it's Kendra or my mom or a close family member, then my feelings do get hurt. So if I love you, my feelings are gonna get hurt. If I don't know you, then yes, this assumption is correct. <laughs> you cannot hurt my feelings if I don't know you. Okay, so that's the last assumption. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of this since I'm almost done. Okay guys, so I'm all done and my hair has a little bit of static, but it usually does right after I straighten it for the first time in a while. But it goes away like when I wrap it up in my wrap cap and sleep on it and marinate overnight like some chicken. So I'll be good tomorrow, but until then, I like to put some serum in my hair right when I'm done. And this is my tried and true, my chi silk infusion. I take about maybe like a nickel size amount, both sides of my hair. Oh, I forgot how good this stuff smells. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna briefly trim my hair because I was gonna do a separate video on this, but I always trim my hair so fast that I feel like it doesn't need an entire video. So I'm just gonna do it really quickly. So my hair is about a little past my hips, as you can see. So all of that gotta go. It's nice that it's, you know, past my waist and all that, but I don't like raggedy ends. So I usually take front first because my front layers are a little, well, I really don't even have layers anymore, but they're a little shorter than the back. So I just do the front first. By the way, these are the shears that I'm using. I think these are from Amazon. Make sure you always comb from the root so that your hair is cut evenly. I have a mirror right here, so that's why I'm looking this way. And I try to look directly 
into the mirror like straight so make sure your head is as straight as possible so that is going no so then i just take some of the hair from behind now go to where i cut the piece before as a guide you guys can see that so i need to cut this where that is like so so you basically just want to start out with one piece and just cut to that exact guide So my hair looked like it grew about three inches, three or four inches since the last time I straightened it, which was February of last year. Cause that's the last time I cut my hair as well. I cut about two inches off. I trimmed about two inches off. And then now what I do, I take my hair to the front and make sure my ends are even. And if they're not, I make them even, of course. So this side is still a tad bit longer. Go. I could take more off, but I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so this is what my ends look like now. A lot more crisp, not scraggly looking. See how that looks? Like I can even take it shorter if I wanted to, but I'll just leave it like that. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was kind of helpful to you guys. I finally showed you how I briefly trim my ends. It literally takes me like three to five minutes most of the time. So yeah. So I will have a full list in the description box of all the products that I mentioned and used in today's video. So make sure you guys check that out if you have any questions. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.